peppers. Tomatoes cooler cousin. They grow pretty much the same way with just a few subtle nuances. If you live in the northern hemisphere, particularly a cooler climate, quite likely you cannot direct seed your peppers straight into your garden. The warm growing season simply isn't long enough for the fruit to mature. There's not too many things as tasty as a plant ripened pepper. They do take a while to mature, however, and if you have a shorter growing season, you're gonna need a plan. And that plan is to start your seeds indoors before spring hits. It's super easy. I'll show you how I start all my pepper plants indoors during the winter, and you'll be ready for your own pepper planting in no time. Hey guys, welcome to the Right Tomato Farms channel. Hey, if this is your first time visiting, first up, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Here, we talk about all the best tips and strategies to grow the best backyard veggies. So hey, if growing fresh organic fruits and vegetables for you and your family is something you're passionate about, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. To start your own pepper seeds, you're gonna to need to choose the right container. As your garden evolves, and as you level up your hardware, you'll quickly find that nothing beats the industry standard of multi-cell seeding trays. These guys allow you to grow hundreds of plants in a very small space. There's a reason the pros use these trays. You can line them up assembly line style, which brings us to part two. You're gonna need a quality organic seeding mixture that you can either make yourself or buy at the store. The mixture should be very light, free of large debris, and not overly fertilized. Begin by filling each cell and spreading the mix evenly, ensuring that each one is filled right to the top. Scrape off that excess mixture and then begin to compress each cell about 30 to 40 percent. Once that is done, top it off with some more of that organic seeding mixture so that each cell is once again filled. Once you have your trays filled, use two liters of water to soak these cells from below. Don't water from above. Let these trays sit for about two hours to fully soak up all that water. Peppers, being excellent transplanters, are quite resistant to transplant shock. As such, they can actually be seeded two different ways. The first method is to simply place a single seed in each of the cells right in the center. Once seeded, simply press each seed down into the cell about one to two centimeters deep. And then pinch that hole closed and you're all done. However, to save time, space, and soil, there's another method to seeding these guys. And that is to place anywhere from 5 to 15 seeds per cell. Like we said, because peppers are quite resistant to transplant shock, we can simply pry apart the individual seedlings when we get to the next stage of planting. Whichever method you choose, remember to always plant those pepper seeds about 1 to 2 centimeters below the soil surface and ensure none of the seed is exposed. After your seeds are planted, they're gonna need to be kept between 80 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. 
This is the optimal germination temperature, and you're also going to want to keep them about 90 to 100% relative humidity. And hey, peppers come in a million different varieties, so be sure to clearly label each tray. The benefit to starting your own pepper transplants indoors during the winter doesn't stop with just extending your growing season and getting a head start. You also get to cherry pick the best genetics as well as the most advanced plants. And what this does going forward is it provides a much more uniform crop even if you have the plants spread out around your garden. And if you live in an area with winter extending past three months or more, you really have no choice. You have to pre-start your pepper seeds indoors. Make sure to stay tuned for part two of starting your pepper seeds indoors, where we look at continuing their growth, moving those seedlings along into proper four inch nursery pots, both for sale and for transplants. Hey, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.